A common misconception is that a green copper ground performs better than the armor of MCAP cable. The answer can be found in Section 251.22 of the National Electrical Code and Table 6.1 in the UL1569 MC Cable Standard. Both MCAP cable and traditional interlocked armor MC cable are types of MC cable. The only difference is in the ground path. A copper ground, an aluminum ground, or an armor ground all must meet the same UL and NEC ground path performance requirements. First, let's take a look at the NEC requirements. Table 250-122 specifies the grounding conductor size based on the size of the circuit breaker. As the circuit breaker size increases, so does the grounding conductor size. For example, a 20 amp circuit breaker requires a 12 gauge copper ground or a 10 gauge aluminum ground. Another example, a 30 amp circuit breaker requires a 10 gauge copper ground or an 8 gauge aluminum ground. NEC section 250.122 also allows the cable armor or sheath to serve as a ground path for the cable if it provides a low impedance effective ground fault current path just like a conventional equipment grounding conductor. Now let's take a look at the UL1569 MC cable standard. Table 6.1 in the UL standard specifies the ground path performance requirement for MC cable based on the NEC requirements. In fact, the table looks a lot like NEC Table 250-122. The table differs in that it shows the wire size instead of the circuit breaker size, but similar to the NEC table, as the wire size increases, so does the ground. It also provides the ground path resistance requirements for the grounding conductor, the armor, or a combination of both. In this example, 12 gauge MC cable is required to have a 12 gauge copper ground or a 10 gauge aluminum ground. The ground path resistance requirement for 12 gauge cable cannot be more than 1.72 ohms per thousand feet. The resistance requirement applies to the 12 gauge copper ground, the 10 gauge aluminum ground, or the armor ground path of 12 gauge MCAP cable. In the armor ground path resistance test for MCAP cable, the aluminum grounding bonding conductor is cut off at the armor and the resistance is measured on the interlocked armor. As you've seen, the copper ground, the aluminum ground, and the armor ground of MCAP cable all met or exceeded the UL and NEC ground path performance requirements. In fact, the armor ground path of MCAP cable performed the best.